What's up YouTube, this is Cooking with Doug. I'm just gonna do a quick little review on my um, brand new sound bar. It's a Bose Solo 5 TV sound system. I got this at HSN guys, it was about $250. Um, and you know, uh, I did pretty well, well, my kitchen channel has done pretty well last year and um, I wanted to buy something a little special for my kitchen so this was a little, I, I, I don't think I would have bought this for my kitchen last year, but I figured I've, I would splurge a little, so I went ahead and got this. Um, but anyway, this is, um, this sound bar doesn't, it does not come with a subwoofer, so it has added bass into the sound bar, so according to Bose, it kind of has like a subwoofer in that little piece that sound bar and when I say little piece it's pretty compact because it's about 21 to 22 inches wide which is the smallest sound bar that I've seen out of the major companies I'm talking about Samsung LG Philips and the other major companies that make sound bars um, 21 inches is, is the 22, 21, 22 inches is the smallest and that works for me because in that space that you see there is about 24 to 25 inches wide so I didn't have much to play with so this is the only sound bar for me if I wanted to hang, hang it up where you see it there this pretty much is my only legit choice as a month to date in um, you know uh, April of 2017 Things may change in the future, hopefully by this video. Uh, more companies will make uh, sound bars uh, this size. I would say this would be great for a uh, bedroom, a kitchen, um, or a bonus room, right? Um, this is great overall sound, guys. Um, it has bass. It's not crazy bass that has, as you know, some of you are accustomed to, especially with Bose. It's, it's bassy, but it's not crazy bass. It's more, it focuses more on the voice, which is great. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And oh, one other thing I wanted to show you. You also get this awesome universal remote with it. And this can control everything. Look at that right there. That's awesome. This remote alone, and just based on my experience with remotes, on Amazon, this would easily be $20, $25 for this remote. Or, yeah, let's say about 20 bucks. This is a great, great remote. Although I'm not using it, I, I'm able to turn on um, this, you know, the sound bar with my DirecTV remote. Still, you still get this great remote with it, so that's that's a great value. Also, I want to mention I bought this bracket for um, mounting it on the wall. I don't need it because um, the space that I had between my um, Xbox One sensor and the TV, it kind of slid right in there. I don't know. That was just my luck. But I got this for 10 bucks on Amazon, so if you wanted to mount it on the wall, and you didn't want to do it yourself, they have a kit, it's about 10 bucks. Also, I want to show you, or tell you, um, that this sound bar has, it's pretty straightforward. You're not running your video through this sound bar, right? It's only attaching audio, it's only, you're only running audio through the sound bar. So, in the back of, I mean, yeah, in, in the back of the sound bar, you're only gonna have an um, optical input and a coaxial input. And to be honest with you, this is this is the optical cable right here. And it comes with one, so I bought one, so I'm going to return this, or I may even keep it. I only bought it for four bucks on Amazon. But if you're not, if your TV does not have an optical input in the back of your TV, I wouldn't suggest you spend two hundred and fifty dollars on this soundbar because that means you're not you're not utilizing the best sound possible, and that's a lot of money to to hear like kind of muffled. Um, output of sound and that's what you're going to get if you're not using an optical because there's no HDMI function or option should I say so you only have coaxial or optical so if you're not using this cable don't even bother so first thing if you're interested in this I would make sure that your TV has an optical input 
And by the way, if you're interested, um, my TV is a TCL 20H, uh, 28 inch uh, Roku built in smart TV. I did a video with that the other day. But let me turn on my TV and um, show, let's see how the sound bar sounds. Now this sound bar is on, um, I, I set it to a um, standby mode, which it will stay on for 60 minutes on regular and then go into a standby mode until it gets a signal. Then it will automatically turn on. That's how I have it set to. And at the end of this video, I will video that. I will put the manual on um, camera so you can see oh, that. Tuesday. All right. So um, I just put it on mute. Since I'm going to cut the cord in two years, um, that's one of the reasons why I bought this TV. I upgraded to this TV. Um, let's go ahead and get used to what I'm going to need to start doing. So let me go into my QVC app real quick. And with these apps, you can go live. I can watch QVC live <clears throat> without um, t a TV subscription. Although I have Direct TV, let's say if I didn't have it, I can watch it live. So we're gonna watch direct. Uh, we're gonna watch QVC together, and I'm gonna turn up the volume, and we're gonna test out um, the volume once I get it loaded here. All right, live TV. <coughs> All right. Two hundred order. Are you good to be thirty-two oh one? I don't know. <laughs> regular TV burgers all right thanks for your time let's take it out to 15 we're at the 16 total web Simpson vacuum out way short here Dottie yeah I'm totally yeah, short you need to kind of stub that one a little bit this is making a pretty simple hole after that tee shot kind of, pretty difficult. kind of sneaking up on it isn't it he's trying 18. All right, Breeze is picking up just a little bit off camera. All right, guys. So that was at the loudest um, volume um, that I just showed you there. So like I said, this is a pretty, pretty stable unit. Um, it's not exactly super loud. It's much louder than your average sound from your TV. I can tell you that right now. Sound is much richer. It's much fuller but it's not gonna blow your socks off. Like I said, this is great for a small and medium sized bedroom, definitely any kitchen, um, that type of environment. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. My bad guys, I almost was about to close this video without even going over the Bluetooth feature of this soundbar. And it's probably because this is a feature that I'm probably not going to use with this particular soundbar because I have Bluetooth devices all over the place. In, the, in other words, um, I don't know if I could show you. Yeah, right there, I have a speaker there. And on the other side, um, I actually have a two channel receiver in back of that door right there that when I really want to play some music, and that has that's Bluetooth ready the receiver in there. I could use that, but anyway, that's a, that's another story. But let me show you um, the Bluetooth 
feature. Unfortunately for this, I'm not sure because the way my um, soundbar is set up, I can't physically see on top of it because it's just crammed in there. But I don't think there is a button on it physically. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, it is on the remote. You see it right there beside the TV in the middle of uh, TV and aux. All you do is you press that. And see, starts beeping. I mean, starts blinking. So it's looking for um, my phone to connect. You see it right there, Bose Solo 5 system. So hopefully, when I press that, yep, it's there. So it's paired. Oh, and also, before I forget to tell you, you could have. This um, this soundbar will remember up to eight devices, so eight of your friends or family members can um, pair up to this soundbar, and they'll remember it when you come back. And you can have two people paired at the same time, which is awesome. And how that works is you can't so you can't interrupt someone's song. So like say if I'm playing a song, and then either the song stops or I pause it then the other person can change the song to whatever or change whatever is playing out of the soundbar to whatever they want. That's how it works. But anyway, I'm going to play a track off of my phone and that probably will even get a higher volume than what you've heard previously because it's going to be an MP3. I noticed those are louder than broadcast and uh, some of the uh, regular apps. All right. All right, let me cue it up. I have the book. Let me turn it up. So that's the Bluetooth part of the soundbar. And just to go into overtime, what I like to do in my electronics videos is show key parts in the manual just in case years from now I forget where my manual is and I had to reset everything. Or um, for you guys that you know you might you might have bought this soundbar on Craigslist or you got it from somebody or you forgot your you lost your manual somewhere and you had to reset it and you don't know what to do. This is what I like to do in my videos. So, this is what they say for the initial hookup. You can pause it. See? Optical cable preferred. And these last two pages I'm going to show you are super important. See, so adjusting the base level. That's what I have. What's that? Oh yeah. Dialogue mode, that's to change the modes. Um, different sounds, music, news, blah, 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 blah. And auto wake. That's most important. Auto wake is again where 
when you turn off your TV, like say you program your cable or satellite remote to the sound bar, because in my direct TV menu, um, in my satellite box, it picked up the Bose. It, it had um, a program, whatever, a learn program for the Bose um, sound bar. So it automatically knows what to do. So all I, so this auto wake, all it does is it, um, it stays on for 60 minutes and then it goes into a standby mode until it hears a signal, which is meaning the TV turning on. So that's about it guys. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.